Howdy, Sporiers. My name's Sam the Mushroom Man. Find me on Instagram. And this is my masterclass. Just kidding. This is a very short video where I show you my still air box technique called the Extremely Anal Still Air Box Technique, coined by Mike Tyson. Shout out Mike Tyson. This technique I used when I first started cultivating from the bathroom of an apartment with four other guys. It was not a clean environment, not a pretty sight, but because I used this technique, I had no contamination issues. All right, to the Batmobile. I mean the equipment list. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need your still air box, a hard non-porous surface, a towel, a container that you're comfortable putting bleach water into, water, bleach, paper towels, and 70% isopropyl alcohol. Try to do your still air box work in an environment where there's no moving air outside of inside here. So you don't want an AC running or heat or a fan. Um, it's also a good idea, like I used to do when I first started, to take a shower before you do any work. Um, I used to do it every single time. Now I work with a flow hood. I don't have to, and so I haven't taken a shower in like a year and a half. Um, the only other thing you might want while you do this work is some music. I use a speaker, or sometimes I like to sing. Fly me to the moon. All right, let's get to work. So, the steps are very basic, and there's really only a couple more than you're used to. First step, take your towel. So you can see this one's not pretty, but it's clean. And I'm gonna drop it in the bleach water and get it soaked. For this, I use one part bleach, four parts water, but for a size of this small, one cap of bleach is more than enough. So you get that soaking. Next, you take your still air box and you spray it with your alcohol, wipe it down, or let it air dry. Take your paper towel, wipe it down, voila, it's dry. Do the same with the top. I did it earlier. I'm not gonna do it again. Next step, take your towel and wring it out. You don't want this to be wet. You want it to be damp. You do not want this to be wet. This is a good time to sing, but I'll spare you guys that. And then the final step, really, get your towel out and lay it across the surface that you're going to be doing your work on. I like to use the top. This is a locking container, so when I put it on, it locks right in. You can also just use the table here, and then you would lie your towel across the table. Another thing to really keep in mind, this is the most important part, very simple too, make sure your towel is tight, taut, no ridges, bumps, or lumps. Why is that? Because, for instance, if you're pouring agar, and you have bumps all in there, your agar plates are going to sit slanted, and your agar is going to dry slanted. Or, you know, you're doing very delicate movements, you really don't want to have things getting in your way, or things making it any harder than it already is as a beginner. The last thing is just lock it in. So now my still air box is locked in, it has this towel and we're good to go. Real quickly, why do we do this? Well, the towel is soaked in bleach. Bleach will help sanitize things. So, you know, if you're using a still air box, you're probably taking your arm out to flame sterilize your scalpel, or you do a couple transfers, you take them out, you bring in some new plates, obviously you spray them down with alcohol first, then you bring them in. The air is not completely still in here. There's little things floating around, hitting off the walls, bouncing around. With this towel, it'll hit it, the towel, that'll dampen the blow, and it gets a little bleach on it. So, in theory, it's sanitizing, it's an extra layer of security, and it stops things from bouncing around. The only other reason I do it is because when I was a beginner, you make mistakes. You put lids on the ground, you put a scalpel, maybe you hit something on the on the table. Well, if you hit a towel with bleach on it, it's pretty safe. Still flame sterilize it, but it's just an extra layer of security for beginners. And that's pretty much it. Shout out to Mike Tyson for this technique, and shout out, of course, to my mom. Much love, guys, and good luck. Happy growing.